Hey everybody, welcome back to Life of Lisa. Um, today we're going to be making just like a strawberry um, shortcake type trifle. It's not in a pretty trifle bowl, it's not even in a clear salad bowl if you will. It's just in a disposable tin because I'm taking it to my son and my daughter-in-law's house because we're going over, they bought a new home and I'll share that with you. Um, so I'm just, I made them orange flavored chicken and I'll leave the recipe down below for that. And um, so that's what we're going to be making today. So in a way... And it's good. And it's very springy. I put a little orange zest in there and a little orange juice. And, you know, strawberries and oranges go really well together. But um, I usually I started making this for Easter. Now I make a lot for Easter. But this was a summertime dish I used to just, you know, dessert just for spring, for summer, just for the hell of it, for a picnic, whatever. You know what I'm saying? And then I started making it for, to put it on my Easter table, too. Um, but anyway, enough with that. Let's get to the recipe. Guys, I just want to get the monkey, you know, there's an elephant in the room. If you're looking at my eyes saying, oh, that looks different. What looks weird about Lisa's eyes? Um, this eye here had blo blo broken blood vessels. It's starting to heal up, believe it or not. That's why it has like an orangey tint. And under here, it's still like um, a little, because the blood has to get absorbed again, right? Back into your system. Long story short, I don't know why. Um, I've had it before. Um, I don't know if it's from the headaches, because I would that non-stop pressure type headache, right? I don't know if, I'm not joking when I say if I was yelling at Ken, um, because I'm Italian, I can yell. So I don't know if that's what it was. I don't know if it was coughing, sneezing, who knows? But all right, so let's get back to the recipe. Hey guys, since I can't make my son and my daughter-in-law um, something chocolate, they gave up chocolate, gave up candy for Lent. I was gonna make it like a peanut butter dessert. You take peanut butter cookies, pudding, whipped cream, melted peanut butter, little chocolate drizzle, and like peanut butter cups. But anyway, for this, it's a strawberry shortcake. You're going to put it in a pretty trifle. If you don't have a trifle, trifle is like a, a little thing with a stand in a big glass or a plastic thing. Um, and you put layers in there. If you don't have that, you could use a bowl. You could use a salad bowl. I have a clear mixing salad bowl. Um, I'm actually throwing, I'm putting mine in a three or four quart alum uh, aluminum tin disposable pan so I could just bring it to their house for dinner tonight and we could just throw it away um so you could use whatever vessel you want you don't have to make it look all pretty and put strawberries on the side you know sticking up so they look pretty you don't have to do any of that you could just dump it all in a bowl in layers and it's gonna taste delicious I don't care what it looks like as long as it tastes good so you're gonna want one box of instant vanilla pudding you want 3.4 I know what the box says this is a bigger box because I have to go get the smaller box but you want a 3.4 you want one cup of milk you want one teaspoon of orange zest you're gonna want one small little pint eight ounces because you want one cup of sour cream so this is one cup you want two cups of heavy cream for your recipe this one back here don't even worry about it you don't have to use an extra two cups. I do because I top, I put a top layer on mine and I do whipped cream on top and then I'll just take regular strawberries, place them on there. You could just stop with your strawberry layer and call it a day. I look, I think it looks unfinished. I don't like that. So I like to add a little extra heavy cream, but this is truly all you need for your recipe. And if you want to do what I do, then you need an extra two cups. So anyway, what size is this? Hang on. Okay, guys, this is 14 ounces. Hang on. If you can see right there, right here, that's 14 ounces. This is about five to six cups. I would say, because I already measured out four and I have a chunk left over. And you could probably get another one and a half to two cups out of that chunk that I have left over. So I have two of these, like I said. And then you're just going to break them apart and I'll show you. Hey, guess what? <laughs> We're making like a strawberry shortcake and I forgot the stir of the show, right? You're going to want four cups of sliced strawberries. Four cups of... Sorry about that. Four cups of, of sliced strawberries. Um, you're definitely going to want that. I have extra because I usually maybe will put like almost five cups of strawberries in because I like strawberry, a lot of strawberries, and then I want some for garnish, right? And then sometimes my pudding mixture, I will double that, depending. But, um, and just so you do know, what I do is I will fill this up to like one fourth cup uh, with orange, fresh squeezed orange juice, and then fill the rest up to make one cup of milk. 
Um, depending on who I'm making it for, if it's my mother, she likes a really strong orange flavor. I may add more juice for my son. I'm only doing one fourth. Because sometimes they say, what's with all this orange flavor? Ha ha. So anyway, anyway, let's get to it. And let me start zesting this and slicing my strawberries. And then I will be back and just, again, we're just going to be ripping the cake apart. I will be mask. Uh, I will be marinating my strawberries and just a little bit of sugar and a little bit of orange just a, a zest and a little bit of orange juice. Guys, I just snipped a little um, top off, and then depending, I just go down the middle and go down the middle one more time. Okay, and depending on how big my strawberry strawberries are, depends on how many slices I'll get. Guys, I zested two oranges. This is why I left on. Right, I already got you can see, so I didn't go crazy zesting everything. I got my teaspoon sitting right over there, and then I have this leftover that I'm going to stick. I don't, I don't even know if I'm going to use all of this in my strawberries because my son is picky. So let's see. Um, I'm going to taste it. I have this much left. Got this. And now I'm going to put a little bit of, um, let's cut it. I have a knife. I just cut my strawberries with. Uh, hang on guys. So guys, this is, I just going to take a little bit of orange. That's enough for that. And now I'm going to take enough in my milk. To get that up to one fourth cup, and that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm just going to stir this around, and they're going to macerate. I don't know, um, at least a half hour. Macerate just means you're going to start releasing the juices from the strawberries. So I make a little bit of a, um, a juice, a little bit of a syrup. That's all. Okay. At this stage is when you're going to taste it and make your adjustments. Guys, I added about another tablespoon of sugar, and now it's just perfect. So now I'm going to set this aside and let, like I said, let it marinate. Here's my disposable pan. It's deep, okay? So I'm going to do that, you know. Now I'm going to start with this. Um, for me personally, I do, for every one cup, which is eight ounces of heavy cream, I put in one fourth cup, which is four tablespoons of powdered sugar. And I do about a teaspoon of vanilla extract, a good one. Um, and McCormick's is good too. Whatever brand you guys use, you use your vanilla extract. Again, it's just my rule of thumb for every one cup of heavy cream, I do one fourth cup of powdered sugar. You guys can start with, trust me, I don't think you're going to want to do two tablespoons. Um, but you can start with two, add another three, and then add another, you know, when I say three, I mean three tablespoons all together. So start with two tablespoons, add one more tablespoon to make three. Then you can even add, what, obviously, one more tablespoon to make four tablespoons, which is your one fourth cup. Um, you may say, hey, you know what, Lisa, I want it a little bit sweeter. Go for it. Add another tablespoon. Um... And if you want, start with a half a teaspoon of vanilla. See if you want to go up to three-fourths a teaspoon or a teaspoon. But a perfect combination truly is one cup to one-fourth cup powdered sugar to one teaspoon of vanilla extract. So I have a recipe for how to um, make heavy cream. I will post the link below, but I'm just going to put this in a bowl. It's not chilled. The beaters are not chilled, but it is thoroughly, thoroughly clean. No fat, no oil residue. And it is completely, completely dried out. I'm going to shake this really good. And um, I'm just going to beat. And you could start off slow and increase it. You could just start beating and then add your powdered sugar. You could just dump everything together and, and um, uh, go ahead and beat away. But don't, you want to stiff peaks, but don't get carried away. Because if you do, you will make butter. I'll show you what it looks like when we're done. Guys, just to save time, because I pulled up my other one for, this is for garnish. This is for the pudding mixture. Um, so I'm just going to beat these together and save myself some time and do it one time. And then just divide it evenly in half when I need to separate it. 
So again, since I'm using four cups of heavy cream, I will need one cup of powdered sugar. Uh, I use powdered sugar. I, you could use granulated. I don't recommend it. They even have a um, finely grind, uh, which I use for my cinnamon buns. But um, anyway, I use powdered sugar, and I suggest you use powdered sugar. So I'll be using four cups of heavy cream, one cup of powdered sugar, and two teaspoons of vanilla extract. Uh, again, when you beat this, you don't want to get carried away. You don't want to make butter. But you need them to be stiff peaks. You can add any type of flavor uh, extract to your heavy cream when you're done if you wanted to. You can add even a liqueur. You could add cocoa powder. You could do so many th things with heavy cream. You could um, actually lighten uh, pudding, mix heavy cream after you beat it. You could mix it in with your pudding to make a mousse. You could do something like that. There's so many things, like I said, you could do with it. I actually make something called tartoni. It's an Italian little, um, you take heavy cream, you beat it up, you add a little vanilla extract, you could use amaretto, a little slithered uh, almonds, a little marsh, um, a little cherry on top. I don't know, I cannot pronounce that cherry today, but you know, the little drawer cherries you get for ice cream. I stick it in the freezer and it's really good. Maybe one day I'll do it. It's so simple. All right, so let me start this. I just wanted to say, I'm not sure if I already said it, but when you start out, you can do... Um, I'm right now I'm just going to dump all my powdered sugar, all my extracts, all my heavy cream, start out maybe real low so I don't splatter everywhere and just increase it quickly. Guys, I just wanted to say I did start out a little bit lower because otherwise it does that, it splatters, but nothing was cold. My beaters were not cold. The bowl was not cold. All it was was everything was clean and completely dry. There was no fat, no oil residue on the in the bowl or on the beaters. It was completely dry. Okay. Right now is the time if you want to taste it and make adjustments. You can't wait for this to be done to taste it. So, oh my God, it needs more powdered sugar. Because then you'll make butter. So you have to do it at this stage. Guys, please don't mind my mess. But, because it splattered a little bit in the beginning. Um, but this is what you want. Okay? Just like this. Just like this. Just like this. Okay, see? Just like this. No more because you will have butter. Right, so if you want the recipe, I will definitely link it at the bottom of this in descriptions. Guys, right, so here's the size you want. 3.4 ounces right here. Okay. So... I'm going to take this, my milk with a little splash of orange juice, the zest, the sour cream. I'm going to beat it together, and then I'm going to fold in half that whipped cream we made. So I'll have to throw this away when I get to it. So let's put the milk in with the orange juice. I just want to make sure I'm definitely on one cup. And this whole little eight ounce, not like I showed you earlier, eight ounce, one cup sour cream. And you could definitely double this. Usually I do, but you know, I'm trying to cut back a little bit. Even though we're not going to be keeping it, my son is, but. Okay, so now we're just going to mix it. Till it oh, lion. We have to put that orange zest in. Oh. Now we can beat it. And it will get thicker because it's instant pudding. But that's what it's going to look like when you first start. Guys, I don't think I showed you, but uh, this was a full bowl. I just divided it in half. This was the heavy cream. This is the four cups heavy cream. If you don't want to put two cups on as your garnish, you don't have to. But you do have to put two cups of heavy cream in here. And that would be with your half a cup, um, your half a cup of, uh, no, your, uh, I'm trying to think that's enough. Okay. That's about half. Okay. Now we're just going to fold. Just like this. You just slice down, chop it push toward you and flip over. Turn the bowl, karate chop down, pull it toward you, pick
pick it up and fold it over and just keep rotating. And then sometimes I'll make, just give it a little stir from the bottom up. And this is making it light and fluffy. And you have to let this marinate at least two hours, guys. I like to do it overnight. I actually like it better the second day because it's all compact. And um, I like it. So here we go. So I'm just going to keep doing this because it's all incorporated. It's okay if you have a few streaks. You want to keep the air as much as possible inside your heavy cream. Okay. Guys, this has such a nice, refreshing, springy air to it. It has such a nice, mild orange flavor. If you don't like orange, don't put orange in. But it's so mild. It's so yummy. And that was pretty much a packed teaspoon of orange zest. You can make it lighter, but you definitely can taste some orange. It's not overpowering, not strong, but it's a hint of orange. Very mild. Okay. Even my son's going to like this, with the amount of orange. And again, you, you can make it without orange. All right, now let's get on to our cake. And here is some of the cake I have already chopped. I mean, I chopped, broken apart. Guys, I started doing this. This was a whole cake. Um, I'm going to leave like a size like this left over. So I only want eight cups. And this is about almost six cups. So we're just going to take it, rip it, and just start breaking it into whatever size pieces you want. You know, it's like bite size. And don't forget, it's going to compact. Okay? So we're just breaking it apart. That's it. Guys, and here is about the size we're leaving. Okay, let me just rip one more piece off. What the hay in that little corner there. So this is what I'm leaving behind. Um, and again, you guys, if you don't like angel food cake, you could definitely use pound cake. Okay, I know you can make your own. Sara Lee makes pound cake. You could use a vanilla cake. Um, you could do a lot. So all right, let me just get to it, and I'll show you how we're gonna assemble it. Let me go wash my hands. So we're going to take all those eight cups. We're going to make just two layers. So four cups on the bottom. So half this. Right? And you could measure it or you could eyeball it. I'm just going to eyeball it. I'll spread it around. And again, guys, you could be using a pretty trifle. You could use a clear salad bowl. You could just use a regular bowl. It doesn't matter. You don't. And if you're going to go up the sides, you could put pretty little strawberries, slice them. I'll show you later. You could go up the sides, but hey, you want to know something? I don't have time for that. I just, it's, it's going to taste just as good. Okay? Just as good. I think that's good, guys. Okay, and it's just two layers and three layers of strawberries. Okay. Or you could just do two layers of strawberries. Um, but I'll show you what three looks like. You could use your imagination for two. Just stir in my strawberries real quick. Smell is amazing. I smell orange. You could use orange liqueur in here. Do you just see? Hold on. Can you see in there that little bit of liquid? It makes yes. I'm gonna pour that all over this cake. So you do your strawberry layer first, and I'm gonna do one third. You can imagine how good this is over ice cream, vanilla ice cream. Oops, sorry. A little bit more. So we're just going to be doing a third, right? I'm going to take a little bit of that syrup. Just a little bit. Oh, this is so good. Oh my God, it smells amazing. You know that sugar, because I used granulated sugar, dissolved already. And when it take half our um, pudding mixture and put it right on top of this. This is nice in the summertime too. 
And the, the pudding obviously will firm up a little bit as it sits in the refrigerator. We're just going to do half. Okay, guys, now I'm just going to take my spatula and just, you know, smear it around. Trying to make sure everything is covered. Rotate your pan. Oh, get back into the shot, right? Okay. There you go. And now um, we will repeat layers. If you want to, you could put a little bit of your whipped cream on here too. I'm not going to use much, but you could just use a little bit of this, mix it in, give it that um, strawberries and cream feel too. I do it both ways. Okay. That's just the idea. I'm not going to do the next layer like this. Just want to use it. Okay. Now we'll do the other half of the cake. Okay. This is the last four cups. I'm just going to dump it in and I'll move it around. Now, if you wanted to, what I was saying, you could divide the strawberries just in half, put the rest of the strawberries on here, put the um, pudding mixture on, and then finish it with your whipped cream. But I'm going to put um, strawberries underneath the whipped cream. And here we go. Mm, this is really, 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 I know. So I make this all the time. So springy, and I usually now make it every Easter. I used to just make it for a dessert, but it's so welcoming for spring. Do you know what I'm saying? After a long winter, it's very nice. A little bit more juice. And I just have a little bit left over, not much. About a third, I guess I should say. Okay, so now I'm gonna dump the rest of the cream, the pudding. Now, guys, I just tasted that again. But then we're just going to um, smear it all around just like we did before. You see how, and this is probably what, um, this pan is almost three inches deep. If not, I don't know if it's like two and a half. Ken, do you know what, how deep this is? It's unbelievable. Oh, okay. Um, but when you look at it, is it like three inches? Four, I guess a little over four. He's saying it's four inches. Okay, then I guess my math is off. He did flooring for a living. He knows his measurements. But you see how deep that is up the sides? It makes a nice dessert. Feeds a lot of people. Okay. Now we'll top it with the um, strawberries. And if you wanted to, guys, this is the layer you could stop at. But you would use more strawberries for the, this layer. And cover this all with strawberries, and that could be your top layer. But I add um, whipped cream to the tippy top. Okay, that's it for this layer. Mm, so much you can see all that syrup right there. The smell of, I love the smell of strawberries and I love the smell of uh, oranges and I love the smell of orange and strawberries together. Okay, so now we're just going to dollop this on here. Just like this. 
my same thing we're just going to smear it around okay just smear it around I just wanted to say this is not sweet oh sorry that was my measuring cup but I just want to say this is not sweet at all it's not like oh my god sweet overload it is not um and like I said it's just so refreshing now I'm just listen guys I'm not Miss Decorator. I can cook, I can bake, but decorating is not my forte. So I'm just going to stick some strawberries around, whole strawberries, okay? Nothing fancy, really simple. And so everybody knows we're eating strawberries. And everybody who knows me knows what this is already because I've been making it for years. Okay, just like that. So guys, I'm going to go let it sit up in the refrigerator for at least two hours. But um, again, I guess we're not leaving here till about four, it's about 1030. Um, so it's going to have a chance to set up for quite a few hours, which is good. Then I'll cut it and then I'll taste it and I'll show you what it looks like. But it, try this. This is really good. I promise you it's so good. And what am I having for dinner tonight? Because I'm cooking them dinner. I'm making that orange flavored chicken. I have a recipe for it. I will leave it in the description down below and um the chicken nugget recipe is miss phyllis stokes she's somebody i watch it's her um basic chicken recipe i do doctor it up a little bit and um i i flour my i season my flour for sure and my chicken and i even season the buttermilk but the point is um you could air fry them you could fry them you could you know do whatever you want with the chicken but i make a really delicious orange glaze that tastes just like orange Chinese takeout. It's very authentic. It tastes just like if you walked into the Chinese restaurant and, and asked for orange flavored chicken. And I will share that link. All right. Talk to you later. And just a sneak peek. Here's the orange flavored chicken I made tonight to bring to my son and my daughter-in-law's house for dinner. Um, I made pork for rice. I did an egg roll. Um, the recipe for this, I will send a link if you want it. I'll put it at, um, in descriptions. I do have a video for it. Truly, I promise you, not only does it smell amazing, it tastes amazing. It tastes like you went to Chinese takeout. It truly does. I promise. It absolutely does. Next, I'll do General Tao's chicken. I know I don't think I pronounced it correctly, but that's okay. And you guys, if you wanted to, like last time, I don't add um, hot crushed pepper, red pepper flakes to this, but you guys can. I, I think I'm going to bring it tonight for my son and my daughter-in-law because we'll cut through some, I think, of, um, I mean, it's orange flavored chicken. In case, you know, my kids want it a little less orangey. I don't know. Banging, though. Delicious. Guys, here it is. I'm trying to put the light on. I, I feel bad because I cut into it. Um, but there it is right see how nicely packed it is and here it is it's like a little trifle excuse the mess in the background i just got done cooking um the orange flavored chicken and the rice and the, i made pork fried rice i made egg roll made spirits but anyway um here it is yummy delicious it's like a um, little trifle strawberry shortcake type thing yummy all right guys and one more look all right bye Guys, just please excuse that mess over my shoulder, the soy sauce, salt, garlic powder, my tripod, all because, you know what, I was cooking for my son the orange flavored chicken and my daughter-in-law, and I haven't cleaned up yet, but let's take our bite. Mm. So good. So light, so creamy, so refreshing. You taste the cream, but you taste the strawberries with a little hint, a little hint of orange. It is so good. It's so spring-like. So welcoming. Do you know what I'm saying? So good. Give it a try. It is so light, creamy, tasty. Tastes strawberries. Tastes orange. And um, you can't put your finger on what kind of cream you're tasting. But it's good. Hello, everyone. This is Ken. Elisa wanted me to make a correction for her for a strawberry shortcake video. In the video where she showed the... Uh, uh, two pint containers of heavy cream, which is four cups all together. She had mentioned to use two teaspoons of vanilla, but 
for those that cream, but it's not. It's it's supposed to be one teaspoon of vanilla per cup of heavy cream. So in all actuality, if you're using all four cups, it's four teaspoons, not two. Thank you very much.